we got the fishing loaf for anglers, but we need to get 84 cooking to actually cook them. So I got a bunch of food right now before looting the temporal stuff. 7,000 carrot bonds, 4,000 trout, 4,000 salmon. So by this point in the video, I had already opened up 200 plus permits for my 82 fishing grind. So I have a lot more extra fish than what you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm cooking all the low level fish like trout and salmon, lobsters at the rogue's den because it's quicker. Oh, 80 cooking. Nice. I can cook some sharks now. Hell yeah. Breaking news. Mr. Fuse has humbly asked us to get 85 cooking and that is only one more level than what I wanted. And the reason is really important because he wants a lot of wild pies. He reached 80 slayer recently and he wants to boost to burst a lot of abyssal demons to try to get us some abyssal whips. So this is going to be a very important collaboration and I believe I should have enough food thanks to Temporos to actually get to 85. So he's preparing about 100 plus wild pies right now getting ingredients like raw rabbits. The hardest one's probably going to be the birds, the uh, chompies. Let's go. I can now cook anglers. Oh my god. Like 2 mil cooking XP in the past 2 days. Alrighty. Alright, I need to get one more for wild pies though. 300k? Can I have? Do I have enough? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Alright, finally. 85 cooking. Man, one level a bit more than I initially planned. But look. I can now make wild pies. 6,000 carom bonds. 5k salmon. 5k trout. 2k bass. 1k sulfur is 1,000 shark basically. Alright, let's see how much we made instead. That's still a decent amount though. Wish us luck. Oh, yeah. oh you know what? I had a feeling. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had a feeling. It like it like went out of the pile. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I gotta tell freaking Rice that we gotta whip. He's he's right here. Just bro, for, bro, for you gotta whip? You gotta whip? Yeah, yeah, we gotta Yo, whip. let's go. How many times? 617. Let's KC. go. Deserve. Ever since Group Iron Man came out, I've been glued to my monitor as I've been playing so much. What about you? We have to be careful about our increasing PC use because staring at the computer screen for many hours at a time can definitely lead to some health issues like eye strain, headaches, bad sleep, and just overall discomfort. A lot of it is attributed to heavy exposure to blue light from screens. Personally, my eyes can get pretty irritated after long PC sessions and my head feels tight. Luckily, PC glasses by GMG Performance helped reduce my eye strain and overall discomfort during PC use. I'm wearing their latest generation of Orano's glasses, which is even better than before at reducing blue light to improve eye comfort. Maintaining the health of our eyes for decades to come is of utmost importance, so start now. GMG Performance Glasses is having an insane sale this November, ending on the 29th at 12 p.m. PST, where you can buy their glasses for 50% off. Don't miss on this amazing offer to better your day-to-day -day health by clicking on the link in the description of this video. No, I have to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Hunt Gruffs. We're chilling. I remember, this part is a lot faster. We got the Spare Flakes, 7,500 of these. Is it 50%? So I should be able to get like what 3,000 anglers out of this and we also have the fish barrel so we can afk even longer nice already caught like a hundred what the hell damn flakes fishing is actually insane i've never done it this way before Ooh, 650 made successfully 50 burnt damn that's plenty another 80 skill well that pretty much wraps up all of my stats that i want for some zora I should probably use up my insult heads. Oh, 67 prayer. Okay, that's literally for sure the last time to make some Guthix rest. Never made them before, but they're going to be super good for Zora. So I can keep my HP high without losing damage. Damn, dude. This is like freaking Food Network right now. I'm showing you all the different recipes. Complicated. So I needed to do one small favor, at least partially, to actually make these Guthix rest potions. I'm putting these on our though for sure. Each tea requires two guams, one morento, and one harlander. So I had to actually do some guam seed farming. That was weird. Never done that at this stage on an account before. And it comes in three doses. 
That was a lot of work. Ordosis? Oh, it does work. I see. Wow, damn. That's a lot less than I thought I would make. So this is the current setup that I'm rocking. There'll be a few minor adjustments throughout the video. So of course, like any proper hardcore Iron Man, before you go do a new boss on the account, you should definitely do some practice runs on another account. And yeah, it's going pretty good. Kills are like four minutes right now, but it is somewhat consistent. Most of my attempts are kills actually, so that's really good. All right, let's do it. I'm ready to go, baby. Revenge time from last time, five years ago. I'm ready, Zora, baby. Mmm, damn. I might have to bail this kill. I'm not hitting. This kill is looking pretty rough. Learning to know when to quit is probably one of the most important skills on a hard crime and that I've learned since the last time I played. Please die. Let's go. First kill. Nice. Those T's are actually so freaking good. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho. number five. Sweet, we got some Manta Rays from the Zora, so we can use some Manta Rays. Ooh, Salundra Teleports. I'm definitely using these. <laughs> That's going to save me some time. Get him back here. Ah, uh, Monkass. 10 KC, let's go, double digits. Holy shit, that was way too close. God damn. Six minutes. Oh my days. That that was the worst. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That's enough for today. We did 13 kills in uh, about two hours. Probably could have squeezed in like two more kills, but some mistakes were made. Ooh, three minutes and 13 seconds. Holy crap, what a PB. Wow, that was nice. That's that's a PB right there, dude. Oh, massive. That was uh, as close to a chance as you're gonna get without it being like a chance, pretty much. Oof. Oh, that's scary, dude. That was a weird ass rotation. Oh, oh my God, yo! <laughs> what? No way. Oh my god, dude, we just got a blowpipe. <laughs> we just got a blowpipe. No freaking way, dude. If you don't want to miss more crazy action-packed content coming up for this hardcore group, I man, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. Yo, this team is lucky, dude. Oh my god. Mutz has finally made the blowpipe after a little bit of fletching and a dragon fruit pie. And there it is, the freaking below pipe is here. We can add some skills, we can add some darts. Wow. That's crazy, dude. What an upgrade from the MSB. Holy shoot. We're gonna literally below pipe blue face now. So yeah, um, yeah. We don't have good magic here, but it's okay. Because we just got a massive upgrade. <laughs> Eventually though, we're gonna give away this blow pipe to Mutz when he's out of the gauntlet jail. But for now, we can use this for, uh, for our own amusement, so. Alright boys, we got a new setup, slight changes. The blowpipe not only is higher DPS on blue phase over MSB, I can also pick off the snakelings a lot more in between dives, which means I take less damage, which means I save you more time, and I also have the blowpipe spec heal that I can use mid phase, especially if I take a range attack, I can heal up within like a tick after, so super nice. Jesus, man, all range. But that's a good example of how I could survive, though. The worst part about slow Zora kills is the random Jad spawn that can happen on the second rotation of the fights. And the one that you're seeing right now is the worst one because you can't hide behind the pillar to skip it. So I basically have to just teleport out if the fight gets prolonged to that point. But luckily, this rotation only happens one in four times, and only if my DPS is so bad that it actually gets to that point. So it doesn't occur super, super often, fortunately, even with the setup, but I do have to watch out for this particular jab phase. Whoa, I found this weird glitch where somehow with the MSB, I was able to trick the game into thinking I killed three snakelings 
at the same time, and it completed a combat task. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, but I completed a task somehow, so there you go. Nice, I got a hit in there. Oh shit, hit 84 hit points? That's really good. Because guess what, baby? Anglers is going to put me to 100. Okay, good. This is the best phase for me. Rotation uh, 3 with the green guy on the left. So this is Rice Cup from the future after killing Zora quite a few times on the Remake Cup account. And I'm going to explain to you some of the nuances on how I did Zora with such bad gear stats. So first things first, we are primarily going to be maging Zora because we want to really be careful on dealing with the mage Zora because mage Zora can range you quite a few times and it can easily hit 40s. So it's really important that I minimize contact with the blue Zora. So how do I do that? Minimizing contact blue Zora involves hiding behind the pillar quite a lot. If I see Zora hitting me with a range attack, I gotta step behind the pillar and just see what kind of damage I'm getting because I wanna make sure I eat up right afterwards. Sometimes you really can't like hide behind the pillars too well so yeah in that case you just gotta be ready to combo eat okay so let's talk about some other nuanced things so when it comes to the snakelings i do try to kill them before they reach me sometimes there's melee snakelings that i can just fully block the damage and kill them in between dives which helps me a ton because i take way less damage which yeah prolongs my chance of getting the kill because sometimes the kills just get really long like four or five minutes plus so let's talk about Guthix's Rest. So Guthix's Rest, I use it every time that a Poison Splat hits me because once I get Venom, Poison starts at 6, right? If I let the Poison keep going, it's going to go from 6 to 8. So my goal is to reset it before it reaches 8. And with 2 Guthix's Rest, I should be able to reset it about 6 to 8 times and get most kills, no problem. And the Poison will only ever do about 6 damage to me. Which is a lot better than taking perhaps 10 or, you know, 12 or whatever. Really important. Gothic Express is really nice because I heal 5 HP every time I drink it. And it can overheal my max HP as well. So they're like mini anglers. And they don't have a cooldown when I drink it. So yeah, I do a lot of mage stalling. Really important again. And let's talk about angler fish. So I make sure that when I am going to be fighting a blue phase aura and I can't hide behind the pillar or it's not worth for me. I try to make sure I start the blue phase with above HP, above my max HP. So in this case, it would be over 90 plus instead of my usual 80 plus HP base. This helps a lot because if it hits me with a blue 40, well, my HP is still decently safe. So that means I can eat like one Karambon and I'll be fine. And I won't actually have to double eat too often if I do it correctly. So anglers are really good for that and of course I have sharks and carambons as a combo eats So if I'm like threatening low HP like Under 50 then yeah, I just instantly double eat increase my chance of survivability and uh, Carambons is my main spam food because carambons They have a one take less cooldown delay, which means I can get back into fighting the boss faster so if I really do have to eat in the middle of like let's say Jaffaze or something, I want to keep my HP above 80. I just eat one Karambon and it's okay. I should still be able to do most of my DPS unlike if I eat like a shark in the middle of combat because that cooldown is insane. But yeah, I try my best to just use the rotations to my advantage, memorize all the rotations, but I've done so many so I already know how to deal with that quite well. And yeah, just use all the tricks in the book. I think I've explained most of it here. There's not too much else to explain. Sometimes I'll manual cast the Ibans at first because sometimes during certain parts of certain rotations, I can actually squeeze an extra hit just because I, I just make it in by being a tick faster and hitting the boss. If I just left click the boss without manual casting the first spell, I lose a few ticks, which sometimes could make me miss a hit. Every hit matters. Min maxing in this type of setup is the most important thing ever. All right, so TLDR, uh, popping snakelings, reducing damage from them, stalling behind the major, making sure I eat my food properly, making sure I got the express properly. 
and all that stuff combined with you know i bins msb and uh base 80 magic wrench is enough to get the kill but doodle whoa i got a blessing let's go dude hey that's actually best in slot i don't have a blessing yet so yeah there we go 75 defense sweet if i get a star pound tomorrow that that's the level right there you know perfect it's it's destiny we're getting the serpent tomorrow right pretty good though 70k an hour just like literally editing videos and not doing anything so it's really nice so now the angler fish is a thing for me i can get up to 99 hp right jad's max hits only a 97 so i can literally make one flick mistake and still survive so that's nice i am gonna go ahead and actually unlock the jad task just because i feel so much safer with anglers and I can do jet tasks and train my range that way and also just get a lot of range XP. And also I can get a lot of Slayer XP, so I think I'm gonna give it a go. I can always skip the task too if like the server's lagging or something and not lose any Slayer points. So yeah, there's like nothing to lose. It's time for me to start unlocking the kingdom just because we have so much money that we're not really doing anything with it right now. So we should start investing in kingdom is really good for herbs. I can get some Harlanders for Gut Express and a bunch of herbs for herb training must wants that for sure and we can also get some teak planks for construction too i'm definitely raking every single time i do this quest going forward i don't kind of want some teaks you know for some construction training 70 hunter what's good nothing yeah i'm skipping all these hunter levels i don't feel like showing them on uh, video much another level 70 skill hooray